Yellow duckies and welcome back to the Outer Worlds where we are continuing the thought process of there is always another quest. We can't just possibly, you know, talk to one person and, and do one thing for them. We, we have to talk to all the people. Mark complains about the state of the bay. I already told the Mardits they're free to flush out McRed and his outlaws. They're so knotted up seeking warrants and paper justification that they want someone else to solve all their pro problems off the record. Sorry, boy, it's not my job. Ooh, sorry, guys. Mm. Promenade status. Morale is dipped 18% since Martin Callahan showed up. The damn mask. Found another list listening device in my office. Thing was the size of a toss ball with a cord leading all the way back to the to sublight. Subtle as always. Uh, could have sworn the auto me mechanical chef arrived with a company tech. No record of the guy. Oh yeah, he's uh yeah. Uh, Sprat infestation at the rest and go is getting out of hand. Ethel better not be wrenching those critters again or I swear by law I'll airlock her stall. Uh, messages from you Bedford, my dear lady. The implications of your accusations cause my breath to hitch my throat. I am certain that we can arrive at an agreed- okay so this is normally like uh, backwards here. Here we go. Uh, the board rejected my request for new radiator parts again, even after I greased their wheels and with some targeted donations. Funny thing, when I used my admin privileges to survey the outgoing comms, I noticed some activity from your office. You chose your words carefully, but I plucked a juicy phrase. One second, guys. <laughs> I just realized my cords are kind of tangled here. <laughs> Uh, I plucked a juicy phrase from the transcript, let the frog boil a, a while longer. Now I have no radiator parts. You're playing with our lives. Did they install you on my ship just to get under my skin or are you pulling this for fun? Uh, the implications of your accusation caused my breath to hitch in my throat. I am certain that we can arrive at an agreeable understanding for what is a board liaison, if not a facilitator of handshakes between great powers, much like the board and yourself. When you do decide to return to the negotiation table, consider once again the embassy expansion pass I laid out. Gestures of good faith do not go unpaid. Uh, yeah. No, we don't want to steal anything. Particularly not this is Halcyon Dune. right in front of everybody. Can you take these things that would be stealing? I don't know what that did. Yeah, it's not bad enough that I... Okay, logs and transmissions, rival confirmation, yeah, uh, and uh, ground baker successfully arrived at the Lagrange point. Uh, stages one and two of mission have been carried out. Take ownership of Groundbreaker as specified. Some very rich and unsavory elements among our colonial neighbors seem to have the wrong idea. Um, Space's Choice logo stamped. Yeah. Groundbreaker has no role in the success or failure of Halcyon's corporate entities. Uh, if anyone wants to speak compromised, da, 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 da. even when the last Tennyson fails or falls, sorry guys, uh, Groundbreaker will remember us and defend its freedom accordingly. Okay. 
All right, so we have to avoid the fiery things. Here they come. One second, guys. I once again have my headphones on backwards. Oh, oh, fire. Ow. It burns. I still hear slithering and oh, it's up there. Who would like to die first? There we go. Okay. So we took out that before I even got up there. Whew. This place is hot. Oh, great. So... <laughs> so, there's a bunch of droids that are gonna try to kill me. Lovely. I can take these things. It's better than nothing, I suppose. Supplies are good. Um, is this a control thing or no? No, of course not. Should I be worried? Oh, oh boy. Incoming. Is there another? Um, how do I heal again? heals that, but... Um... How do I... Oh, gosh. Okay. That's good there. There we go. Much better. Okay. Oh, wait, she went down. No. Um She's kinda the only one out of all of us that's armed already with an electric weapon. Oh, gosh. 
gosh, okay. Yay, she got back up. Some of Chief Guying's old schematics, Groundbreaker must have taken a beating during the crossing. She spent half of her career patching it up. Lots of corners cut when they put this place together. Among her papers, they also found the layout of a hangar that doesn't match any of my dogs. Something that might have gotten sealed off along the way. Uh, I hate to put sentiment down in print, but every time I open a panel or find some more ground, yeah, okay. Uh, staff are getting restless, but grounds and half cup solutions are all we've got to mend. Groundbreaker's bones. Uh, Alright, so. There we go. for a couple of bit cartridges, but still. At least now I'm not going to fry myself everywhere. Ah, elevator music. We made friends now. This right. is Halcyon Noon. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Tossball finals are scheduled to air soon. <laughs> my boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. What's it like being in command around here? Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life or death decisions on a shoestring budget. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. The ship is a family business? Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the groundbreaker. My grandmother, Chief Gaying, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from Chief Engineer to Captain. They must have been amazing people. To have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. Condolences, Jin Lee. I'm sure those were some big shoes to fill. Appreciate it. There wasn't much that took me by surprise about the job, but the little things you never expect or think about, they add up over time. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. 
it's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennyson's know about. Aren't you a little young to be training a successor? You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? I didn't think so. The next captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. It's only a question of when. I hate those fatty but... Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like a chief engineer. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you could find your way around this labyrinth of ducks and panels, we could work something out. Where's the self destruct mechanism? I hope that was a joke, Captain. I really do. I gelded that thing years ago. Now it brews a spin that goes down stronger than Nan or Spank. Family <laughs> recipe. Back to me. You've got my attention. You don't have a lot of faith in the board. You're right, I don't. The board is after two things, bits and power, and they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. And you keep the board at a safe distance. I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. Hmm. You've got my attention. Hmm. Well, we on our way. Okay. Um. This is ah, here we go. You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. Uh, why would we run out of time? You headed somewhere? Me? No. But our relaying capabilities? That's on the final countdown. We're going offline in three, two, one and a half. No. Wait, I've lost track of my weeks. Maybe it was 36 or uh, sometime dire soon. Why are you losing comm capabilities? Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The event's forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. And that's our problem, how? We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. How are you cut off by losing one relay station? Well... We wouldn't be utterly and completely blacked out, but we'd lose the majority of our comm traffic for sure. Ships and colonies on Terra 2 need a clear line from their communications towers to the Groundbreaker for the transmissions to make it through. If it's not clear, they transmit to the closest relay station which stores the message, then passes it along when our orbits align. Mm, what about the other... Uh, actually, no. Can't ships relay messages to each other? That they can, and they do. But only between ships owned by the same corporation. Yeah. No corp will authorize sending messages through a ship owned by a rival. And no corp will relay messages for the Wildcat freighters. Not without charging them more than they'll make in a single haul, anyway. That's why we're the message hub. The Groundbreakers neither corporate owned nor board controlled. Our comms are neutral. What about the other auxiliary relay stations? The others won't be in orbital range during the occlusion event. Isn't it some law of the universe? The relay I gotta rely on is, of course, the one on the fritz. Sounds like it's time to get the auxiliary station back online. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the chief. I could check out the relay. No need for a visual sign off in that case. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. 
I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky, or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with some leisure reading. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the Relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? What do you mean? The Relay stations orbit the edge of the Halcyon system, so they tend to receive the majority of any transmissions from Earth. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. You just let the messages from Earth sit in the memory on an orbital relay. It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products, meaning only folks in Byzantium can afford them. Alright. I'm on. Alright, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it for this episode, so thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to keep up to date on all the videos. And remember to free the feral wildflower in you. Bye-bye!